Alright, what up guys? Welcome back to FOB. So we're at Andrew's dad's parents' house today. His dad and his buddy, they doubled up today, this morning. They're by no means are they small deer, but his dad shot a tank. We have to go in there and see it. Oh, okay. like well, well done, Iowa public. Iowa public hunting land. <laughs> then recap, recap. <laughs> 15 minutes apart. Hang on, yeah, yeah, restart. No, okay. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you, <laughs> this two years is old. It's almost eight years old. Yeah. So we have oh, this yeah. November 9th. Look at this. All right, this is Iowa public land. Today is hot, warm, but lucky they came out nowhere. It's just so. All right. Thank right. you. FOB. We killed a deer. Uh, FOB got one today. Two, yeah. actually. Yeah. FOD father. <laughs> See, <laughs> See star here? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, 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 no teeth. 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 No yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Can play for me, okay? <laughs> if you don't, I will. Oh, 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 both. Grab the other one now. Hot too? No, just grab that one. See, that looked like what, what about you would kill. <laughs> that one's still big though. Look at, look at this head size difference. Yeah, big difference. I really think this one's thicker than mine. That's real shit. I'm ready, nigga. Motivation. Motivation. 30 in public land. 33 now. Oh, yeah. Man, man, Inflation. Inflation. <laughs> it's a freaking. It's a freaking magnum. All the same. Oh, yeah. Parents? Yeah, the freaking magnum. Ready? Yeah. Freaking magnum. Come on, Austin, put your hand on it. Put it in. Lift that thing up. Yeah, and take it, take it and put it in the freezer. Yeah. That, the Bro, man, this is me man. squeezing my hand as tight as I can around it. Look, he still can't reach it around. Look at that Dude, look at the bases. I can't fit my hands around it. Hold on, okay, so like that's a big deer, right? And there's a big deer right next to it. But look how, look how much smaller this big deer looks. <laughs> Dude, this is not a small deer. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a 140. Oh. That's that's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Not this one. This is gonna be European. This one's been European, but this one's gonna get shoulder mounted. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, it's no excuse when you shoot it. You miss. You miss. Hey, <laughs> uh, come come over. It uh, it over here. No, you're always excused. Huh? 45 yards, that's too far. Yeah, big big steak. Come on, come in. <laughs> man! See, you this is easy, though. Yeah, this man. Oh, man, man, look like I could invest that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Investment, sign, 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 Look at that. Man, so the cell, the cell has a kit, right? Hey, you look like VC. Yeah. Hey, look <laughs> down my head, okay? Bro, what's that? 2x4 is sturdy? 2x4 is stronger than you think. Oh, that's not stable. That's a final. Yeah. 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 What should you say? Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to understand them. They're uh, a little intoxicated right now, but <laughs> yeah, we just got done. Sorta. I mean, we literally just did intro, but. <clears throat> Yeah, Andrew deleted it, so the intro that you guys <laughs> Yeah, so you shot a Magnum, so it's gonna get the ball rolling on us. Pope James is actually off Got me that. this weekend, so we're gonna hopefully get something, but Marvin's gonna see you guys in the woods that motivation. on Saturday. Austin's so. Friday. And Austin Maybe. on Friday. So, see you, uh, see you then. All right, y'all, real quick before we get into this weekend's hunt. We didn't see much deer. We're guessing that they're in lockdown, so we're gonna switch our tactics up. Time making this video, we only have four more days until it's the gun season, so it's basically end of our season. So we have four more days to make it happen. So the hunt you guys are about to watch is 
me and Austin, and I guess me in the morning. Uh, I didn't have a camera arm, so I just had the camera and a GoPro, and it was super cold out, so the GoPro's died, but I got a little bit of deer on camera, and then you guys can get my reaction of me pulling back on a buck that I've been seeing in the area we've been hunting. Thank you guys for all watching, everyone who's been following the season so far. Hopefully gonna make it happen. Coming down to the wire, so enjoy the hunt. Well, it is November 13th, uh, half birthday buck shame. He went to the Broadway concert over the weekend. So he's not out hunting today, but I'm sure he's gonna be back out tomorrow. Yeah, so today it's just me and Austin out here. Austin way up over there, but uh, Martin has the uh, camera arm and all that. So and the only thing I got is his GoPro. Oh, something does come in. I won't be able to film it in particular, but you guys will hopefully get my reaction. Yeah, come along. One of those years, I guess. I don't even know if I'll be able to get one at this point. But uh, I heard the grunt behind me right here. And then he ran down this way and then he started fighting with another bug. So I did some calls. And I figured that he, you know, he didn't care. He just kind of kept walking over there behind me on the bottom of this ridge going. I heard some cracking right here in front of me. I guess I'll show you guys somehow, but uh, so originally I heard him over here, and then he crossed behind me right here, and we went down right in there, and he went down right in there, it's kind of hard to tell, but it goes down like that. There's a whole bunch of thick cover right here, so you really can't see in there. So you can't see nothing right here. So I figured he worked off that way. And I kind of got a glimpse of an antler right here. He was walking the exact same trail. So there's a trail that goes right through here. And this is my opening. I got an opening right over here. Like 18 yards. And he looked like he was going to walk right on that trail. And if he took a right right here, he would have been... 10 yards but uh so he was kind of in that opening right there to where i didn't want to pull back just quite yet just because like he could see me so i was gonna kind of wait till he got around behind these trees here so I, I could just pull back and then he would have some cover there i don't know if you guys could hear him but some guy I don't know what, what kind of hunting he's doing, but he yelled on top of his lungs. I don't know what he said in particular. But the buck turned around, looked that direction, and kind of trotted right here in this little opening that I had. Which is so, a 20 yard shot. Um, but he was turned to this way, so his butt was facing me. So I couldn't really do much, but he kind of turned this way. And try to stop him right there, but he kind of kept going. I didn't want to like do a loud stop because I figured like he was kind of because that guy just yelled like it, it it made me jump a little bit. But um, I don't want to try to stop him too hard just with a loud louder noise. But regardless, he went down this way and went right down the creek and out of my life he went. It is the evening, it's around 2 o'clock, November 13th. I'm doing something a little bit out of our comfort zone, but uh, we been running into some hunters and whatnot, so we decided to go through some thick stuff, basically. And So now we're really talking back up in here, so we're in, looks like the bedroom, so I'm in a bed, sitting inside of a bed right now. Austin's sitting inside of a bed in there, and we're watching the big open field, but 
That buck that I've seen twice now has came this direction. So, and he's, Austin's also seen that buck before too. And he's came this direction as well. Oh, you've seen him over, right over here, right? And like two yards from where I'm at now. So we know he's working the area. And we know he's still here because i seen him this morning. And he did come this direction. So we're gonna tuck up in here on the ground and uh, see what we see. But uh, yeah, so I, I just got the head strap. I got this camera obviously and this one. So obviously if I see deer really far away, I can still film it. Yeah, come on, should be fun. Wow, it is four o'clock and we just had a real big body buck come right here. Walked right down here, went behind some dead trees. Try to grind at him, see if he came would come over, but he just kept on going, he looked and kept walking. But we're thinking he might try to get down one of us. And uh it's pretty calm right now. But the GoPro batteries are both dead. I haven't been running the cameras at all, but it's so cold out here that the batteries are just dying. See a deer right now. I said, You see him? Top the hill, top the hill. Grunt, grunt, big pup. Grunt, grunt this way. Stop the hill.
going too bad.